my dude is back in the news today. Oh, who who are we talking about now? Man? Robert Pattinson, dog. Robert what? Pattinson, Batterson? The new Batman. The, right. The, the, probably the definitive version of Batman. I'm placing mm-hmm. my best man. The oh, definitive word? version of Batman and well, Bruce Wayne. I'm quite confident. Yeah, Bruce mm-hmm. Wayne. I am confident. I'm mm-hmm. so confident in this man's acting ability. He's going to star in the next Bong Joon Ho film at Warner Brothers the Studios. Really? So, All right. Yeah. So speak on Bong Joon Ho. Just in case, so, so, for those of us who may not know. Write and direct an untitled film based on Elwood Shanton's a coven novel called Mickey Seven from Warner huh. Brothers. So the novel's not even out yet. It's, it's an upcoming, upcoming novel. novel, really? It's wow. An upcoming novel. Wow. Okay. I, I want my novel option before I look That's, before that's I what I'm saying. It. Can I get a movie deal before my book yeah. is even released? Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want a hot I want a hot Korean director to do my novel, which is not out yet. Right? <laughs> so Mickey Seven is an expendables, a disposable employee of a human expedition sent to colonize the ice world of Nephilim. Whenever there's a mission that's too dangerous, even suicidal, the crew turns to Mickey. Okay. Oh, okay. After one iteration, oh, after one iteration dies, a new body is regenerated with the most of his memories intact. After six deaths, Mickey Seven understands the terms of his deal and why it was why he's the only one in the clinical position to go on the search. This is very interesting. So I guess mm. it's a bunch of clones, and you remember everything of the previous one, and you're Mickey Number Seven. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, you know, you know why that sounds really interesting because you know it's he's going to be appro- approaching it from an angle that we're not going to see coming. You have to keep in mind yeah. that this is the same cat that did Snowpiercer, uh, Parasite, um, yep. uh, Mother, which is twisted as yep. well. So yeah. I'm excited for the simple fact that the storytelling is going to be unique. <laughs> it's going to be gonna, more than it's, one. It's, it's going to be something you've never seen before. Right. 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 It's yeah. Be a yeah. Society, society <laughs> yeah. and all these films. So this is going to be very interesting. And who else to play somebody that, that comes that comes back reincarnated over and over again? Uh, it's Robert Pattinson. Mm. Robert Pattinson plays similar roles to this. Yeah. And let's not let's not pretend like the man doesn't have acting chops. I mean that's what that's what everybody keeps telling me. I haven't seen his full yes, catalog. You have. Not his full you catalog. Have There's full still catalog. some bullets in the clip I haven't I haven't fired off of regarding some of his content. But from what I've seen, you know, from, and and how excited people like you are, I'll give him, you know, I'll give him a shout out to Dow. I'm I'm telling everybody. I'm, <laughs> I am speaking volumes right now. Everybody hangs on him being being this young man doing Twilight. You know, mm-hmm. being a 138 year old spelling a 15 year old girl. Yeah, a little <laughs> weird there, buddy. A little weird it is, there. It is weird. It's a little, but you little do weird. What you got to do to get on. Uh. But he, back, <laughs> he, he did tenant. I mean, he acted a hole in Denzel's son. He sure did. Man. He acted circles around him, man. He was the pretty much the only shining bright light in tenant. <laughs> That's including the, the directors, House. the producers, and the actors that were involved. Lighthouse, yes. I keep hearing, is legendary. So, I mean, Crush, Listen, remember me? He crushed what? good time. Man, the man's on fire. I don't know what y'all what y'all are thinking about. I mean, he's got fire. he's got a hell of an agent because he hopped on Twilight when it was hot. It's, regardless of how you feel about Twilight, mm-hmm. he was smart mm-hmm. enough to hop on one of the hottest properties outside of Harry Potter at the time when it came out. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. he's he's hopping on the on the reimagining of Batman as well. And now and now you've got like an, an Oscar. Uh, an Oscar caliber director uh, uh, wanting you on his project. So that's, yeah. I mean, the dude, the dude knows he's got good insight, man. He's got good, yeah, a good, yeah. a good ass agent. 